Hello everyone. Now this is one uh, Seagate patient hard drive, and we can check the model number is ST1000 VX005. And the family is 95, and the firmware error is locked for this kind of drive. And when we try to use Control L within the COM terminal, we can find out the direct low stick port locked. So to unlock this drive, we need to uh, read ROM and then generate unlock ROM. Next, we need to write the unlock ROM and then power off, power on, we can send unlock key. Now, in this video, we have sent the unlock key and unlocked the firmware error successfully. And we have um, change spout rate to be the 460800 so now the firmware backup or other firmware operations will be faster if the firmware modules uh, read or write is done by COM port now let's try to back up the important SOS files we can try to read SOS files. So this is family 95. Now we are trying to read this SOS file table. We need to wait a little bit. Okay, so we select the important SOS files to backup. Click OK. Now the program is reading the important SOS files. Okay. After uh, we read these important SOS files, we can go back to SCOM terminal and wait for zero to check the engineer's entries. So zero entries. V4 to check the G list. Now we are regenerating the translator SATA zero control T we can check the V four zero again to see if the engineer's entries are available or not. Now we go to the DFLDDP. This is SATA 0. So we can open DDP at the same time to see if the data error is available or not now file extraction we can check the lock read arrow we go to the switch back to the Seagate we can power off, power on the drive. Send an OK. We try to check the data error here. Let's see 
if it's accessible. So it's red. We can check the middle part. Okay, the middle part is okay. So there are some bad sectors in the front. And we can check the ending part. So the ending part data error is also okay. So for this drive, users need to uh, go to the DFL DDP. and set up one disk imaging project here, new project, next, disk image. So users need to set up one, uh, set up the head map, select the drive. Okay, now the client is here. Now we select this one. Now we can try to set up the head map. Here, we, we'd better try to uh, write the original ROM back. Now let's check. We can uh, write the original ROM. After we write the original run back, we can go to the DDP. To image this drive. We need to use this one to write, use the high bar rate to write back the original ROM. After writing back the original ROM, then we can uh, go to DDP for imaging here. Now because we are writing the original back, 